I'ma make you face your fears Everybody get ready You see I got my word and I got my heart There's nothing you can tell me On a mission, gotta listen for your passion Blasting through every barrier clashing Automatic, so I'm blessed with a skill set That I'd rather and less than to be what you see in me ah. Hey yo, what up? It's the one and only hip-hop gamer Hot 97 is going down Listen Drive Club I'ma tell y'all the realest This is the realest Video regarding Drive Club you will ever discover on the internet. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all seriously. The first thing is let's get let's clear the elephant in the room, and that's the online portion of Drive Club. When Drive Club launched, the online portion there was no online portion. <laughs> it was horrible. Like when it released, it was bad. We all know that. But I just wanted to take time out to acknowledge it because it's something that a lot of people was, you know, excited for because of the cool features that you can do. Now, the online is working a lot better. That's great. They still got work to do, but it's working a lot better. You could create the challenges now. The club is going. The concept is great. It's great now. But at launch, it was bad. But regardless... Regardless of a bad online launch, because at the end of the day, you know, I care more about the game's graphics, the actual gameplay, and the functionality of the controls. That's it. The online, all that other stuff, you know, me personally, you know, I could do without it. Because I don't need to go online to play the game and enjoy it. That's just me. But online adds more fun to the game and we all want the most fun we can possibly have but someone like me that grew up in the era where we didn't have online on our consoles we always appreciated the single player or just playing with our friends at our houses or whatever but that's just another discussion let's get to this drive club now before the weather before the weather update came out the game you know looked amazing you know what i'm saying now i'm gonna tell you a true real life statement i've played project cars i didn't play the pc version but i played project cars and obviously i have drive club drive club to me looks better than project cars from the things that i've played but obviously project cars didn't come out yet so that still remains to be seen on how the final product will end up being but i will tell you this in terms of racing games that has been released that you can go to the store and get and buy and bring home and play. Drive Club is by far the most realistic looking video game racing racer I've ever seen in my life, yo. Seriously. What Evolution Studios did utilizing the playstation 4 for this to be their first game in a new ip at that and what they were was able to achieve in terms of now look i'm gonna give you the rundown so you can understand because i'm coming to a point and my point is going to lead into the whole weather system okay now listen now they talked about the way the sun the sunlight and how it shines through the clouds the individual you know um like the individual like leather stitching inside the car the the windshield the way uh um the way the sun glare reflects off the windshield depending on the view you're racing on um just the the sheer detail of the paint scratching off when you come into a collision with other cars the environment the water the nighttime the daytime the day the day night cycles how real it looks how Everything Evolution Studios said about this game is accurate in terms of the graphical fidelity. I never seen a game look this good, right? Seriously, when it comes to like racers, that's one. But here's the next level. Here's the next step I want to share with y'all. Drive Club's weather system update. After playing it, I mean, I'm driving, right? And you see the thunder like like no, sorry you see the lightning it's like that you hear the thunder and the lightning 
when you see the lightning strikes, the shit look like how it looks when I look outside and there's a thunderstorm going on. Seriously. You know what I'm saying? I live in New York. It's raining like crazy out here. It was snowing and all of that. Everything that I do, when I look outside at real life, I think of Drive Club. Because of how scary, accurate, and realistic the game is. Drive Club has the best sense of speed that I've ever seen in a racing game. Like the best sense of believable speed and feel. Not just when you're in the in-car view, but even when you're looking at your car yourself, just the way things are is so unbelievable. You see what I'm saying? And then, on top of that, when you're racing in the weather and you're in the outside car view and you're looking at your car, you can see each drop just drizzling and like the stains and... and I never seen nothing like this in my life, yo. For real. It looks that amazing. Then um then when you're in the in-car view and you know the windshield wipers is going on, if you drive this way, a whole bunch of the water comes this way. It's like when you go like this, like a, a big pile of water go over there. Then it goes back and it the water the water affects when you okay. When you're driving and the and the the weather is dynamic and like let's say it's uh you know um let's say the water it's raining it then it stops raining like as you're racing you see the rain like puddles across like the ground and it, the way it looks. I just wanted to take time out to tell y'all that if you don't own Drive Club, this game is the game to have. Like the the. Uh, actual controls the game like just the feel of it. It's the most believable feeling When you're racing simply because of how real the sense of speed is The sense of speed like if you actually drive in real life if you you know got your license and you drive a car And you play drive club you'll have a deeper appreciation for it because the way you would think a car should control in a game because of you driving in real life you would control it the same way with that same mentality and when you control it in drive club like that you get very close to the realistic results man like yo and now don't get me wrong it's not a simulation it's like a it's an arcade game but even evolution studio said that it's a mixture of simulation and a mixture of arcade there's every is in this game that truly is real but it is designed to be an arcade game overall. The, the What they've accomplished is mind-blowing. Seriously. And I just wanted to share that with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, enough talking. I just want to show you guys a race. You know, um, that I did. And just just watch the race. Now, listen. Any video, any video that you watch on YouTube, anything that you watch online, it's not going to be the same effect as when you're sitting at home and you got the game right in your face and it's right there. You know what I'm saying? That's one. Keep that in mind. But when you look at this video, if you're blown away by it, then just think, just imagine what it really is when you're in person if you don't own this game. Drive Club, dog. The weather in this game is the best effects that I've ever seen. Put like this. I'm going to tell you something right now. This will happen to me while I was playing it. Drive Club is not just the best looking racer I've ever seen in my life. But there's parts in this game when you're playing it and just really looking at it. That it's like this may be one of the this may be one of if not the best looking game. Like period. Like and I know y'all like come on hip hop you're exaggerating. No I'm going to tell you something that's very key. That makes a game look like a great game as opposed to a game looking like real life in real life you know there's a dullness to real life when you look at things when it's colorful or whatever whatever there's a certain dullness to life because your eyes got to adjust to the environment you see what i'm saying for example you can't look directly at the sun you can't look directly at light too much because it's too bright and your eyes can't handle things that's too bright. So it has to be a certain subtlety, a certain dullness 
it can still be rich it can still be vibrant but it has to be a su certain dullness to real life for so our eyes can adjust to what we look at on a daily basis you see what i'm saying and if you look at something like a forza motorsport or forza horizon 2 great looking games but they that's what they are great looking games drive club look like great life like the, the, i can't believe it like like anybody that knows me that has been following me for years they know how i feel about graphics they know the type of tv i got this is what i do but i'm just truly ecstatic by the achievement of graphical fidelity in this game and what gets me more excited is what gran turismo 7 is going to bring or any game after drive club that's aiming to surpass drive club because they got a hell of a job ahead of them because this game isn't just a great looking game it really looks like it's mimicking actual real life check out the footage yo it's your boy hip-hop gamer follow me um on twitter and instagram which is hip-hop gamer psn id is real dash hip-hop gamer xbox one is real hip-hop gamer and on twitch is hot 97 hip-hop gamer this is what i do man love you guys god bless you guys and i i just thank everyone for the support man real talk all right peace